Guys, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. 2020 has completely changed the game when it comes to e-commerce. Now, I know a lot of people are talking about, you know, more and more people are buying online because of coronavirus. They're sitting at home and they're making more purchases. This is the perfect time to start an e-commerce business. Where that is true, what's also true is more and more people as a result of that are actually starting an e-commerce business, which means there's more competition for you and for I. So this means that you kind of have to be on the top of your game now. Uh, you really need to understand how to set yourself apart, set your store apart from all of the other noise on the internet and all of the other people who are trying to do the exact same thing that you are trying to do. So in this video, I wanted to share some of the top five mistakes that I see a lot of new e-commerce business owners making and how you can avoid them when starting your own website. Now, the very first thing that I wanted to speak about is research. This is super important. You cannot skip this step. And I see so many people wanting to sell a product wanting to start an e-commerce business and not understanding what the demand is for the products that they are trying to sell. It's so easy. I've done so many videos on this channel about market research. I'll leave some of them in the description down below. Um, so make sure you go and watch some of those videos if you don't understand how to research into your market. But it is essential that you know what people are in the market to buy so that you know what you should be selling. You can use platforms such as eBay to identify what is hot selling and you might not even necessarily be thinking about using eBay as a platform to sell your products on. But if people are buying that particular product on eBay, chances are they will also want to buy it on your website too. And it's a way to kind of research and see how many competitors are selling what you're planning to sell as well. If it's a saturated market, then that's an indicator that you might struggle to compete in that particular niche. You also wanna use websites such as Pinterest to see what is getting topped pins and you know use social media and see what is trending with hashtags and see what is popular. You can use this to your advantage when doing your research for your e-commerce website. The second mistake that I see so many entrepreneurs and business owners making when it comes to starting their e-commerce website is not being active on social media. Look guys, look, our customers are on social media, they're spending time on Facebook, they're spending time on LinkedIn, on Instagram, even on platforms like YouTube. You need to meet your customers where they are. Don't get lazy, don't only focus on paid traffic campaigns because your Facebook account can get closed down at any time. I've had conversations with people who tell me that their Facebook campaigns are running well and then a few weeks later their campaign gets shut down or their whole account gets shut down for whatever reason. And whereas, yeah, you can resolve these issues, sometimes it takes a little bit of time. And where are your customers going to be coming from if you're only relying on one source of traffic? Not only that, but these platforms are making it easier for your customers to actually buy from you on social media as well. Platforms such as Instagram and platforms such as Pinterest make it easy for people to see your posts and go straight to your website and make a purchase. So you wanna make sure that you're utilizing these platforms to the best of your ability. I will be putting out a lot more videos on social media marketing for e-commerce. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel and click that bell notification as well so you don't miss when those videos go live. The third mistake that I see a lot of entrepreneurs making with regards to e-commerce is poor SEO for their website. So SEO, if you don't know, is search engine optimization. And that is how you can manipulate your website in such a way to appease the major search engines such as Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Now I've done countless videos on SEO. I've done SEO for Shopify website owners, for Wix, for Squarespace, and more. And I'll leave links in the description down below to some of my best SEO videos. So if you don't know how to construct SEO effectively, you have absolutely no excuse. Go and watch some of those videos and you can also send me a message as well on social media or by email if you're struggling with SEO. I'm happy to help you out as best I can. But you want to make sure that your e-commerce website is optimized with the keywords that you know your potential customers are typing into the major search engines to find the products that you potentially have on your website. So you wanna make sure you're doing your keyword research, you're utilizing your keywords in the right places on your e-commerce website, that you have 
the right tags properly utilized on your website as well um, that you're using great images that your website is loading quickly and all of the good seo tips and strategies that i teach here on this youtube channel and the fifth and probably the most common mistake that i see a lot of e-commerce business owners making is not focusing enough on repeat business now i say it all of the time when i speak about repeat business i always refer to amazon because amazon they are a great example of a really good e-commerce company. Now, how many times have you bought from Amazon? I know me personally, I buy all of the time from Amazon. I haven't just purchased one time, but I purchase again and again and again. I am a customer who is loyal to Amazon and you want to create the same thing with your customers who buy through your e-commerce website. So think about repeat business. And one of the ways to get repeat business is to make sure you are serving a particular niche. Don't just have random products that have absolutely no relation on your website. Now, I know that I was using Amazon as an example and Amazon sell basically everything, but you're not Amazon, not yet. And when Amazon started off, they were only selling books and they progressed from there. But if you're selling in a particular niche, then someone who buys from you is more likely to need more products from you later in the future. So all of the marketing time, effort and money that you utilize to get a customer buying from you, you want to make sure that they're buying as much from you as possible. So you want to be uh, doing retargeting ads to get your website visitors back to your website at a later date. You want to be utilizing email marketing and you want to make sure that you have a really high quality customer service as well so that people actually want to do business with you again. And not only do they want to do business with you again, but they should be so satisfied with the customer service that you provide that they are happy to recommend friends and family members to buy from you as well. And this is how your business really starts to grow. And again, this is where social media really kicks in as well for social proof. Because if someone has a really good experience with your product and on your website, then nowadays they can tweet that out or they can share that on Instagram. And this can be really good for your image and for your profile on social media, helping you to attract even more business. So hopefully this video helps you out and you can avoid some of the most common e-commerce mistakes. Like I said, I will be putting out more videos on how you can actually uh, implement some of these strategies that I've spoken about in this video. So make sure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel. But if you have an e-commerce business or you're thinking about starting one and you have any questions, please do leave them for me in the comment section down below. I do my best to answer every single comment. So make sure you leave them there. And also I highly recommend downloading my formula, which is the free guide to generating leads and sales to your business online. As you can see, I've got a copy here next to me. I will also leave a link to where you can download it for free in the description down below that has a lot of really great strategies that you can implement right away to help you to drive new traffic, new customers and sales back to your website immediately. So make sure you go and grab your free copy. But I really do hope that this video brought you value. And if it did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day. Make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.